Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Fallout New Vegas. Where last time we actually helped the bo boomers turn on and restart their power and kill all their ants in the power facility. And after gaining their trust, I finally am able to help them out and figure out what they want me to do, which is to get a fi basically I got to go and get a bomber from in, in the middle underneath the water. And I managed to get something to help me breathe underwater, so I should be good when doing this. But I don't know how it's going to turn out. It requires me to uh, hopefully not need a ability to attach this. Because I need to attach something, and I'm, I'm kind of worried that uh, it's going to screw me over in the end. Uh, apparently it's at the bottom of this ocean, of this lake. It's not an ocean, what am I talking about? We're not, we're not in the... Well, I mean, we're in California, but I mean, we're not we're not that far out where the ocean is a big deal. Now, one issue I'm going to have to worry about is murlurks. Now, I don't know if there's murlurks in the water, uh, but I do have to worry about them sometime. Um, because I believe there are murlurks in this game. I would not be shocked if there is. is. Um, and I believe, if I had to take a guess, this would be like a DLC spot right here. Where, you know, you come here and you have to do it. Sort of like, uh, the DLC with, uh, Point Lookout where you had to go to, uh, somewhere else. Like, you oh, wait. There's no rads in this water? What? Interesting. Okay, so I just gotta, di yeah, down here. Actually, I really do like this. I can actually see in the water here. Interesting. I don't remember being able to do so before. Well, I know like in Fallout 3 it was like really difficult to see and it really bothered me when I tried to do this. When I tried to do like those sections where I had to go underneath the water. Um, it always bothered me because I couldn't do it. Okay. Um, hopefully the water breather doesn't break. Now I think about it. Hopefully it doesn't break when I'm underwater. Wow, this is actually very beautiful. I'm not going to lie. Holy crap. Oh, I want to see real quick. Just to make sure that it doesn't... No, it doesn't. It works perfectly fine. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This actually looks really nice. You know, when you have when you have the ability to see under here, everything looks great. I mean, it's quite interesting what you can see. I know... Like, like I said, in Fallout 3, you couldn't see in the water. Like, it was it's very uh, weird how you couldn't see whatsoever. Now, oh god, I'm almost sick. Wait, hold on. Why is there... Oh, that's Cass and Rex. Okay, I was kind of curious what that's doing over here. Alright, so I just gotta keep swimming. Okay, for a second, I thought there was something in the water. I was like, oh god, please tell me there's no giant monsters underneath here. Like, there's a secret uh, that will kill me, you know? Because it's quite interesting how there's nothing in here to fight me, you know? Because you'd always, like, you'd think, like, oh, hey, there's going to be something here that will prevent you from, uh, you know, from progressing. But apparently there's not, and that's actually quite interesting. Um, like, I would expect, like, a murlurk or something coming up by now. Um, like, apparently this is... This is quite interesting, not not having to worry about this. So what I need to do is... Wait, can I enter this? Okay, how do I attach this? Come on, this is going to be quite... This is going to be this is gonna be a puzzle here. Oh! Yeah, let's attach it. Nice. Okay, so I just got to look for the little things right there. Now, the real question is, how are they going to get over there? Because uh, nobody knows how to fly. Okay, what do I do? Turn to the shore near the tow winch to use the Loyal's de detonator. Oh, I need to go over... Okay, over here. Nice. Okay, well, that works out perfectly for me. kind of wish there was, like, more stuff under here. Like, you know, because there's a lot of crash stuff. I should be able to, like, look and find, like... Some, like, really interesting weapons and all that. Like, look over here. This kind of looks like something where I can look and find stuff. 
I mean, but sadly, a lot of these wrecks don't have anything in it, which is kind of upsetting when you think about it, because you'd always, like, expect, like, more stuff, because it's just, like, ships sink, like, that were sunk and all that. It'd be interesting to have that. I don't know. So let's, uh, take off the breather so I'm not, like, wasting it. Um, because that'd be really annoying if it broke. What the hell? I don't like that noise. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the detonator. Do I have that in my weapons? Loyal's detonator. Okay. It was scaring me for a bit. Okay, return to Loyal. Let him know. Wait, no, that's not a good idea. Someone can swim to it. Okay, whatever. We'll go to Loyal then. Not a good idea, because, you know, there is people who, who could scavenge, scavenge those parts. What would have made it better if uh, Loyal actually was uh, able to come with me and do it? You know, so he can uh, take care of it. Like, he follows me automatically. That would actually be very helpful, I'm not going to lie. Um, because then... You know, it's not like questioning, like, oh my god, will this work? Will this not work? Will we be screwed, or will we be fine? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, seriously. Like, who's to know? <laughs> I mean, I, it just shocks me that, you know, nobody bothers thinking about that. No, I actually thought about something. I'm going to equip the Assault Carbine. And now that it's equipped, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this. To repair my weapon. There we go. So the assault carbine. You know what? Let's repair it twice. I don't. I honestly want to keep this thing repaired. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Well, it already worked. It's already up. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. How exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you. The robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. But you won't attract... Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad to have helped. Hey, I better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Sadly, I can't, like, point out that the NCR... You know what? I'm trying to get the NCR to, uh, befriend them, so I... I mean, this all works out in the long run. Maybe I can convince them. Um, I don't know. I still wait. Oh, I still need to get the speed my speech up to help Lover Boy. I forgot uh, because I don't want to be. Uh, obviously, if I get my speech up, I can help them out um, because I just need five points into it. So honestly, five points and then I can use ten on whatever I want. Um, so that might actually help me out. I'm not sure. But let's just head over here. This will be all good in the end. I I believe it would be at least. So pearls in here, which would be great. Um, so let's go talk to Pearl. Get this all settled down. Um, get this all finished. You know, like I already got all the pieces. Sadly, I don't understand why I need an intelligence I of seven. I believe we may see the super fortress built in my lifetime. Oh. Super Fortress. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? I've spoken to Loyal. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Oh, um, oh wow, I forgot, I don't, <laughs> there's some achievements I don't have because of this. Uh, there may be a battle in the near future at Hoover Dam. Can you offer assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. 
After all the training in virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. Understood. Don't get blown up. I won't, don't worry. Idolize, you are renowned by support. Okay, I am idolized by this community, which is really great. Uh, I wonder if, like, being idolized by the community actually helps out. And I did get a boomer jacket, so it's, which is really nice. So I need to repair the bro... Okay, so I just gotta go talk to the amb the ambassador. Well, I got a boomer helmet also. What's my armor at? What's the boomer out flight suit looks? Uh, it's not good. Honestly, it looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. I look at it and it's like, oh my god, those are really awesome. Whew! Got me burning up a little bit. I mean, seriously, it's not bad looking at it. I mean, it's really, it looks really great. Um, when I look at it, because it's it's just a vault suit, but it's like looks really cool from the way it looks. And I wish there were more markers on the strip to point out specific sections, because now I have to go through uh, three loading screens just to get to uh, the ambassador, which is stupid. Should I at least like have one or two, like one for the north side, one for the south side? of Vegas and if I want to go in the middle I just have to go to it I mean honestly that would be a lot okay he said move along I, I, th I thought he screamed at me I'm like whoa calm down buddy I don't want to I don't want to have problems I'm, I'm friends with the uh, mr. house you know your boss I mean come on get your head out of your butt <laughs> your robotic <laughs> your robotic butt oh my god Oh, this is going to be interesting. So, yeah, this is going to be great. I mean, honestly, then afterwards, I, I can go to uh, Jane and get uh, what I need for her. So, that will be good. Um, get more caps because I got more, uh, more of that. So, wow. there's Now, the interesting part is there's a lot of stuff in here. And I believe there's a lot of side missions in the... Uh, the Vegas Strip, which I wouldn't be shocked, because obviously you have the Karma system, and you also have the Idolize system, the city, basically the town system, uh, which tell tells you whether uh, people like you or not, uh, which is really good. But for example, if I'm like hated amongst, I won't. Like if I really am hated, obviously uh, I don't have to like. Obviously, places would attack me, um, but I, I don't know. Then I could also, like, get idolized by a free side. I just have to pay for it, um, but I don't, but I believe there's some missions that I can still do in free side to help me out. Obviously, I want to make myself a little more higher level than I usually am. Like, I want to make myself really high level before we get into the end game stuff, so this might actually take a while, so I, I don't know. I, I hope you guys don't mind these long lights. It's good play, to have so. a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? Uh, I want to talk to you about the boomers. I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? The boomers agreed to help me. Yes, they will help us. I'm going to say me because obviously I'm the one who did it. Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that would be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Okay, I'm liked by the NCR. That's great. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? Uh, you talked about an assignment. So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here. Merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Yes, what of it? Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Sure, I'll look into Good. it. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. 
the consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. If I can't just kill him, what... I'm... Okay, what's my other choice? Because obviously I'm a friend of the king. I am a king. We're, we're good. I can help you. I mean, you're talking to a king. The one who built loyalty with the main king. So I can do this. I'm not a violent man myself, so I had our guys come up with an alternate solution on the off chance that our agent-to-be shared my sentiments. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with, diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang, a man who calls himself the king. What would I need to do? Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here, and we'll take it from there. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to the king. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Okay, as long as either option's fine, but don't worry, I'm not gonna kill Pacer, uh, because obviously Pacer's a punk. Uh, he, he's like, a, he is a dick, because obviously it's shown that he does attack NCR without any no notice whatsoever, or realizing how bad it is on the part of the Kings, uh, because we actually got to him last time when he, uh, when he attacked the NCR that were just giving food out. He attacked uh, the NCR that were trying to negotiate with the king. Because the king is willing to help. He's He wants to help his people. He, he doesn't want to start a fight or all out war. He We've talked to him and we, we're like close buddies now. But we know that that's not his purpose. That's not what king is. King is a man who wants to help his people and he protects the people of Freeside when nobody else will and I, I respect the king for that he's a really great character so you know what guys I'm gonna end it here so if you guys enjoy make sure to like subscribe check out all the links in the description below it really does help out and I'll see you guys next time where we'll, we're gonna go talk to our good old friend the king so yeah bye